you only need four tools. And you're holding three of them right now. The four tools that you need are the eyeballs. Well, let's try and put a more technical term to it. You will be performing a knowledgeable visual inspection of several components, your eyeballs. You're going to need that analyzer finger. And I bet you know what you're going to do with that analyzer finger. You're going to be touching certain parts of the refrigeration system. What's this? Well, that's a thermometer. We're going to need a thermom accurately measure, not guess, at the temperature. And this other tool, <laughs> that's your savvy. You need to know what to do, how to bring these three, four tools together. Let's start with the eyeballs. You're going to look at three things. The first thing you're going to look at is the clutch. That's the most, that's one of the most basic tests. When the engine is on and the AC is on, before you even start touching and measuring anything, you look at the clutch. The clutch should be spinning. If the clutch is not engaged, the number one reason is there's probably not enough refrigerant. If it does have enough refrigerant and it still doesn't engage, well, there's either a sensor or the clutch coil is, is bad. You will be looking at the clutch more than one time through this three-minute test. After you look at the clutch, the next thing you turn your eyeballs to is the cooling fans. What are the cooling fans doing? How many do they have? Are they turning on? Do they seem to be spinning correctly? That's the next thing you're going to be performing a visual inspection. Plenty of vehicles still have a mechanical fan clutch. And if it has that, you're going to be paying attention to how fast is the fan spinning? Does that look normal? We'll learn to turn. We'll learn to test the fan clutch more to go on. The analyzer finger. Yes, the beginning of suction, the end of suction. Yes, it's like ice water. One of the students said, well, how, I'm not sure how cold it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be as cold as the outside of that glass. It's supposed to be cold enough to condensate moisture just like that huge glass of ice water. The evaporator, I'm not kidding. It's a huge glass of ice water. And the refrigerant, you should think of it as ice water. This whole suction line from the very beginning to the end should be, by the end of the three-minute test, dripping wet of condensating moisture. This is what you're going to do with the analyzer finger. The thermometer, it goes in a certain place. And we're going to learn exactly where to put it. No, it's not a guess the game. What do you think? What do you think? No. Do they give you specifications? Hell yeah, I'm going to show them to you. So we need to know what to do with our eyes, our fingers, and the thermometer. Are you ready? What should the results be? And I'm talking about the thermometer temperature. What should it be? Well, it depends on two things. Thing number one is the vehicle that you're working on. Not all vehicles are created equal. Some vehicles just have a colder AC and some do not. Average, mediocre. So the first factor that goes into determining, well, what should the vent temperature be? Is the vehicle. Some vehicles are cold and some are just fair. The second thing where do you live and where are you testing? You've seen this little funny Texas Earth Sun example. It feels like that. I've been to Colorado once. I hope I go back. It's wonderful there. You get to about mid-70s, you almost don't need air conditioning. So the second thing that you have to consider in what are the results is ambient temperature. That's a fancy word for air temperature. Not only does it make a difference, it makes a hell of a difference. Let me show you. Look at all them numbers. No, don't look at them. All the way over here to the right side where it says maximum left center discharge air temperature. Fancy word for vent temperature. Right underneath those words in the parentheses, we have 45 degrees. That is crisp. But all the way to the other side under ambient air temperature in the parentheses, heck, it's only 65 degrees out there. That's not Corpus Christi. This is Corpus Christi. And right next to this information is the humidity. Guess what? The humidity also affects the temperature.